As my second year of college began, I was really suffering from an inflated ego. I had gotten cocky, sure of myself. I thought I had good reason for it. I was a member of the student senate. I'd been re-elected to serve again. I was at the top of my class on the dean's list. So I kind of felt like I was justified. But when the elections for the officers on the student senate were held, I got taken down a peg. And in hindsight, I'm glad I did. You see, I was nominated to be president of the student senate, and that might sound like it would kind of inflate the ego even more. But when the election was all said and done, I realized that I had just been manipulated, maneuvered into putting my name in to be president so that I would draw votes over and away from the opposition candidate so that the candidate who everybody else supported would in fact win and be president. It didn't hurt so much as it did wake me up. I stood back and realized that I didn't like who I was becoming. As I thought about it, I felt that was probably because I didn't like the people that I was hanging around with. They were into politics. They were into maneuvering and manipulating people. That was not me. So even though I knew that there'd be some consequences, I quit the student senate. And I was right, there were some consequences. You know, I had uh, lost a couple of the perks that came along with being part of the student senate, but it was okay. I knew there was a drama club in Northern Essex. And I remember from being in Scotton Hill how much I enjoyed hanging around theater people. So with the newfound free time on my hands, I went and joined the drama club, which turned out to be convenient because the green room for the drama club was located over in the classroom building, which meant I had a convenient place to hang out with people that I liked in between classes. That decision worked out almost exactly the way I thought it did. But there was that one small act of kindness that was still waiting to happen. And it was that decision to join the drama club that led to it. 